Good morning. How are you, boys and girls? Today is Monday already. Are you feeling like it's a Monday, November 16th, 2020? Hope you are off to a great start this fine morning. Uh, new start of a new day. I'm wearing my mask because I was just out about in the building. And remember, I wear a mask to protect you and you wear a mask to protect me. And that's what we do. I also just got done. I've got my trusty hand sanitizer. Look how much hand sanitizer I've used since the start of school. So you can see it right here. So this is a full bottle. This is just me. All right. So I usually what I do is I squirt a couple squirts in there and then wash the insides of my hands. And then I wash the outsides of my hands. And I always wash between my fingers. All right. Make sure you get your fingertips, too. Sometimes when you do this, you don't get your fingertips. So always make sure you're doing that. And I tell you what, I probably use hand sanitizer about 50 times a day when I walk down the hallways. I walk by one and do a little squirt, squirt, squirt. I've got some in my car. Just trying to stay healthy, boys and girls. That's what we're trying to do here. All right. Take my mask off for the analysis today. Um, kind of my easy button here. That was easy. Now, here's the question. Is this easy? It is not easy. What we're asking you to do is hard. And I realize that. I realize that school is hard. It's hard to figure out how to get on the Google Classroom and do all your work. It's hard to... To get your work done when you're at home, it's hard to not be with your or at your babysitters or child care. It's hard not to be in school when your teachers are with you. It's hard. I get that. All right. So my question to you is, um, what can we do to make this not so hard? And I will tell you, one of the things you could do is try your best. And then all of you have the ability in Google Classroom to connect with your teacher through Messenger and say, Mrs. Sheets, I need help, or Mrs. Ava Glavin, I need help, or whoever, and they'll help you. But as I walked around on Friday, I talked to some of the teachers, and we're doing a much better job of getting on Google Meets. I've been to some of your houses. We've worked out some things. Some of you guys have gone to friends' houses where there's internet. This is hard, like I said. But then I talked to one teacher, and she said one person, at 9.30, had their assignment done for the day before. One person out of a whole class. And some of the boys and girls in that class I know are high flyers in reading. So it's a matter of getting things done. So what I would say is let's get ourselves organized today. Today's organizational day. Today's the day we take a big breath and we organize ourselves and say, what do I not have done? And then what do I need to do today? Because you don't have to be on a Google Meet the whole day to do your work. When you get your work done, you make sure you hit finished and submit and uh, so that the teachers can see it. And then you'll all be done, all right, with your work. But you got to do your best. So that's hard. But again, if it was easy, that was easy. we'd all have an easy button. Now, Mr. Pinto, he's got all sorts of buttons. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Really, my office has been not something a lot of people have gone to this year because we're trying to keep everyone safe. So here's another button. I watch this one. Mrs. Hackey hates that button. So we put that one out there. And then there's this button right here. I like that one. That's kind of fun. And then I also have this button right here. It's a blue one. I think this is my favorite. Ready? Kind of fun, isn't it? But most people like the easy button. That was easy. And we like to make things easy, all right? I will tell you, the easiest thing you can do right now is get your work done. You have a job to do. You'd be in school all day if you were in school from 8.50 till 3.30. You'd be in school. So you have a lot more time, really, to get things done. So use your time and work hard. Now, I will also tell you this. Sometimes things are not easy. They just aren't. So if you're doing your extra math practice or you're doing reading eggs, and it tells you you didn't do a very good job, that's okay. Because sometimes you're getting new things you have to learn. And you're not always going to get 100%. So just do your best. I have no birthdays today. Uh, today is November 16th. Our life skill this week is gratitude. And you know what? I like the life skill of gratitude because it's getting close to Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is a day we give thanks for all that we have. And gratitude means to be grateful or to give thanks. So I'm hopeful that you guys have figured out a way to, uh, in your head, say, here's something I'm thankful for. So let's think about something you're thankful for today. Today, I am thankful for 
I'll be honest with you. I am thankful this morning for uh, the fact that I could get up and I could go to my car and my car started. I tell you, that doesn't seem like it's a big thing, but there were times in my life when I was younger and I was trying to get through college when that didn't happen. So I am grateful when that car starts every morning. So that's little things like that. I'm also grateful when I, I'm grateful to be married to my wife and to have a nice family. I'm also grateful to have food in my refrigerator. And uh, I'm grateful for heat. And I'm grateful for a nice day and people I know and are friends with. So again, it doesn't take much to be grateful. All right, a couple other things before we finish our analysis today. Uh, we're going to talk about our moment of quiet today. We're going to do our mindful body. We're going to do mindful body again. We're using the tops, okay? Here's This is probably one of my favorite tops. It spins like no other. So when you see it today, you're going to say, holy cow, Mr. Pinoy, it goes a long time. So be prepared to be mindful because this is not going to be a fast one. Later on this week, you'll see some things that do little tricks. But this one is just a simple... Uh, top but it spins like no other are you ready for it let's get ready to to be mindful so put your feet on the floor and put your hands in your lap let's do a couple of breaths remember we breathe in through our nose to count of four and out through our mouth to count of five all right you ready let's tip this down so you can see it. Can you see it? All right. Come on in, Mrs. Graves. Here we go. We're doing mindfulness. Look at that baby go. I told you it was a good one, wasn't it? All right, boys and girls, remember, smile today because smiling is cheap and easy. Never, ever let anyone steal your joy today. I want you to have a fantastic day today. I want you to practice life so gratitude. We smile to your teachers today when you're in your Google Meets and get your work done. This is work week, all right? Effort is important. That was last week's life skill, but this week's gratitude. You're going to work hard today, okay? Let me see you smile. Everybody smile. All right.